our team coverage now turns to local 10 News reporter Samantha Bryan. She's live in Southwest Miami Dade with more on the flight school. Samantha. Well, there's been several incidents involving Dean International. The most recent we talked about in May besides yesterday, and we were told there was going to be a federal investigation on the school after that point. But well, we spoke to a former instructor from the school, and he says that the proof is all in the records. I think that the FAA should really look into this. Michael Wainick is a former instructor at Dean International, a flight school operating out of Miami Executive Airport. I am concerned with the quantity of accidents, incidents, and these maintenance discrepancies that I see. He's concerned about recent wrecks, like yesterday, two planes involved in a fatal collision mid-air, one inscribed with the school's name. Their doors opened this morning at 8 a.m. We saw several people going inside, but when I knocked and tried the door, no response. We want to talk to you about recent incidents involving some of your planes. Just in May, there was another crash involving one of their planes. The people on board then survived. Before that, other incidents on Key Biscayne. A plane down um, at Crandon Boulevard. It's a plane down. And a fatal wreck in the Everglades. He says maintenance records show issues, loose screws and corrosion. He can't say those issues are by comparison worse than other flight schools, but he thinks federal investigators should be thorough. And records do show that in the last 10 years, there's been 23 incidents involving the school. Four of them have been fatal. Now, we're still waiting to hear from the owner to get their perspective, but again, still no response. We're live from Miami Executive Airport. Samantha Bryant, Local 10 News.